Hey guys, so I've been watching a lot of other channels and different beauty channels and stuff like that. And excuse my hair, it's kind of greasy and it doesn't look the best because it's nighttime. And I'm filming in my bathroom because there's a toilet right there. And I don't know if you can see the toilet and I hope you can't because that would just be really weird. But um, I'm going to do a video because I've been watching other people's and they have stuff like what's in my speech bag, what's in all this stuff. I'm going to show you what I have in my makeup bag, which is just like the makeup bag that I use because I have other makeup. This is like the bag that I have with me in the bathroom that I use almost every day. The colors that I'm most likely to use more often and I'm talking a lot with my hands. I'm sorry, I'm going to quit doing that. But these are the colors and the, <coughs> excuse me, sorry, I've been sick. But these are the colors and stuff that I use most of the time. And by the way, speaking of colors, I just bought, hold on, I'll just show you in a second. Okay. So my makeup bag is really crappy and I really need a new one, but my brother's, wait, scratch that. My boyfriend's brother wouldn't take me to Walmart the other day and he made me really mad. Oh crap, now I'm dropping stuff. You're cool, Tori. Okay. But this is my makeup bag, and it's just like a Walmart bag that I've had forever, and my makeup is like about to bust out of it, and it's like one of the tiny ones, but I don't use a lot of makeup every day, so I'm just using a tiny one. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry. I'm drainage. Yeah, you probably don't want to know that, but I've been sick, and I need to clear my throat and cough a lot, so just excuse that. Okay. So first off, so I can talk about what I was just talking about a second ago with my eyes, if you want to look at it. Um, they're not the greatest because I was just playing with it and some of it just like smeared off a little bit. But I have, <coughs> sorry, this Alme Intense Eye Color and on the back here, okay from the last video I learned you guys can't read this stuff because my camera doesn't pick it up. So basically it's... Alme Intense Eye Color Powder Shadow, and it's 004 Trio for Greens. And it's just the package that it came in. There's the bag. And a little story about it. So I tried doing what they said to do on the back. Like, you're supposed to use this color first and, like, put it on your whole lid. And use the darker color for, like, your crease and the light color for your brow bone. The pink color, like literally, just like washed me out. Like I looked so strange, stop talking with your hands. I looked so strange with it. I think it would be better with like another color, like a pink or something. Like just that shade of purple just did not work good with my face. And I don't really know for sure if this green looks good, but I was trying something new. So I mean, <laughs> it doesn't look good. You guys can tell me that I look completely strange. But, so I used this dark green on the whole lid, and then I started playing with it, and I was like, what would it look like if I put the pink in, <coughs> sorry, the pink in the crease? It looked really weird. Don't do it if you're going to put the top. Like, if you're going to have the pink in the crease in the background, it didn't look, okay, it looked really bad. Don't do it. <laughs> or at least it looked bad on me. And then I used this light green up here on the brow bone, and... That I kind of like tried to blend it, but my brother said it looked too dark on me for some reason. And then I took the pink and I used it like underneath my eye, like, or the purple or whatever you want to call this color pink, purple, whatever. I used it like underneath here, and I don't know if you can see it, and I'm making a dumb facial expression again. Anyways, so that's this, and I spent like 20 minutes just talking about this. Okay. I had a thing for like the Alme Intense Eye Colors because I was just kind of looking for different makeup brands and I never used Alme before. And I bought this one and it's Alme Intense Eye Color Powder Shadow Trio for Blues but it's 002 and I think this one right here that they quit making it or something because I've looked everywhere and I cannot find this anywhere and it makes me really sad because I really liked it. And, again, I didn't use the bottom color. I don't know. I just don't like it. And then I used the gray, the middle one right here, and I put that on my lid. And then I actually put this over the top of it, and then I put it in my brow bone, too. And 
Oh, jeez. Klutzy. I really liked it. I mean, I just... I, I liked it a lot, and I don't think they're selling it anymore, and I got really upset. And this brown actually looks really good, like, mixed with other... Sorry, I was looking at my mirror. Mixed with other colors. I just didn't like it with these. But, I don't know. I'm not very... I don't like contrasting colors that much. Or not contrasting, but like these are kind of the similar shade and then this is just like nothing like the other two. And I was looking for two colors that blend in together, so I should probably start buying duos instead. Speaking of duos, <laughs> I have this which I used in my previous video and it's the HIP L'Oreal Paris Studio Secrets Professional blah 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 metallic shadow charge 9 10. I have like all the information on this one in my other video. I don't know. You can see it. I do that because I learned that from somebody else that I watch on YouTube. <laughs> I don't know if I look silly doing it or not, but but I really like this and you should definitely watch that other video, that tutorial about it, because I really like this. It's my new favorite. And then, let's see what else I have for shadows. Oh yes, I have my really crappy CoverGirl one that I've had for, I think, a, almost a year. Like. I've had it forever and then I quit using it because <coughs> I was getting low but it's the country woods and again this is in my other video if you want to see it which you should probably check that other video out that'd be really awesome but I really like this one I mean it's it's really good for me it's not very like bright and you can't tell you're wearing it because a lot of the times I kind of felt sad when people said like, it doesn't even look like you're wearing makeup, and I was like, I want to at least look like I have something on. But I think that might be because it fades kind of by the end of the day. Like, my school classes have seven hours, and by seventh hour it was faded, and this video is probably getting really long, so I need to hurry. Okay. Now let's move on. Okay, no, let's use these. I have a thing for these eyeliners. There we go. I honestly really haven't tried much other eyeliners and this is perfect point plus also in my other videos and I have it in charcoal black onyx I think that's how you say and espresso and I'm gonna swatch these for you because my hand just likes to get messy okay okay so here's the colors all right and the bottom one is the black. The middle one is the char the the brown, which is the espresso. And the top one's charcoal, and it's kind of grayish black. And I honestly thought it was gonna be a little darker than it was, but it was just that color. And it they all work really good. I'm actually using this brown with these because I thought it looked really earthy, and that's what I was going for there. I'm really sorry if this video gets long. Ah, sorry. Okay. And then for my mascaras, I have two. This is my favorite, and it's a black. It's in black is black, and I used this in my last one, and so I won't explain much about it. You can just check it out in my other one. And then this one is my mom's that I stole from her, and I actually liked it quite a bit. It kind of clumps a little bit for me. And I was looking at my mirror again. Sorry I do that a lot. But it clumps a little bit, but I really like it because it's brownish and... I don't know, my mom liked it, so I was like, hey, I'll try it. And it's black-brown. And I also used this with this because I was going for earthy and this was brown. Okay, now this is all I do for my skin face stuff. But, um, I, uh, bleh, sorry, losing focus. Okay, so I use this for concealer, and all I do is put it under my eyes. And I don't have any of this face stuff on right now, so, yeah, I don't, like, be looking for it because it's not on. And it's CoverGirl, and I honestly don't know, like, what it's specially called or anything like that, but I know this is the light shade, and it goes good with my skin color. And this is also another CoverGirl brand, and it's the CoverGirl Bronzer. I really like this bronzer, and it's in golden tan. It's really nice. And now my makeup bag is empty, and I found the lid to my... Okay.
Okay guys, so I just looked at that and I saw that it was already like nine minutes. <coughs> So I'm going to wrap this up. I'm just going to explain what I do with my brushes. Okay, don't ask me where this came from. I honestly have no idea because my aunt gave it to me as a birthday or Christmas present a couple years ago. And I wasn't really into makeup that much then, so I didn't use it. But I'm like way into it more now. And it's like, it looks like this. I don't know, there's kind of a glare. And just got a bunch of brushes in it and I use this brush um, and this brush probably the most and I also use this one quite a bit I haven't really used much and I also do the eyebrow thing <laughs> but I haven't used much of it but I'm gonna wrap this video up and thank you guys so much for watching and I don't have very many subscribers as of now I think I have two so I really hope that my two subscribers will help me out a little bit and get me out there even though one of them's a guy and the other one doesn't even look at her Facebook. But Jeremiah, if you're watching my video, subs it show me off to your friends that are banned people. Yeah, okay. Thank you for watching and I love you guys.